Hi there. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. A little bit about everything. Um, I was in the house and um, I was messing around with a Cura, the slicer, for 3D printing. And uh, I came across a few commands that I had no idea that existed on this program. And as I started going through every single little detail about the uh, I'm looking underneath the camera because the computers right behind me or right behind you which is the camera or you the viewer um, like I, I was looking for a way to not get the printer to start off at the same spot on each level because it creates a, a split in, in, in the, the whatever I'm printing Okay, and um, I also came across a command called iron or ironing and this command would uh, on the last layer print another layer I believe it's staggered from from the last layer but it, this is the very last layer and it's printed at half the thickness but I think it has a faster extrusion rate so it would fill in all the holes and gaps from what's underneath to give it a smooth surface and the ultimate goal of 3D printing was to have a surface that looks like something that was extruded from from a press right if you can achieve that on a 3D printer you don't have to create molds you don't have to create for one ofs it would be the pinnacle of, of 3D printing. So I'm going to try this out. I have a, a, a test piece which is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters which is 2 millimeters thick and I'm going to print two of them. One on a regular um, regular print format that the Cura would normally give to me and I'm going to do the other one with the, that ironing command on. Okay. So I'm over here at the computer and uh, my settings are nothing special. They're standard quality if you look up here and um, uh, the, 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 uh, the command that I was looking for, I think it's under skin or wall uh, quality. Oops, sorry about that. Um, it's the a Z seam alignment. Now, if you look at the uh, explanation, it says starting point of each path in a layer when paths in consecutive layers start at the same point a vertical seam may show up on the print okay so I can user specified okay I can either go shortest sharp corner random if I go random I'll never see that seam if I was using the sharpest corner and it was an inner corner, I'd never see that seam. Um, but for now, I suppose I can leave it at random. And um, where is that iron command? Enable ironing. Okay. So this piece, I'm going to enable ironing. Iron only highest level, highest layer, or, oh, I have a few iron. Oh, yes. Uh, ironing path. I can do a zigzag, concentric. Okay, I'm going to do a, zin, a zigzag, I guess. Uh, line spacing. That is really tight at point one. Uh, flow 10% ironing in inset 
What's this? Okay, a distance to keep from the edges of the model. Ironing all the way to the edge of the mesh may result in a jagged edge on the print. Okay, um, so I'm not reaching to the edge. I'm at 0.38 millimeters from the edge. The speed. Oh, the speed is really slowed down compared to the uh, the print speed. Um, iron only the highest layer. That's what I want. Okay. And the regular print speed. Speed right here. I'm doing 50 millimeters per second. <coughs> so, and the print speed infill 50, wall 25 millimeters. There's no real wall on this, it's really thin. And travel speed. Okay. So. This, this nozzle will never leave the print because there's nothing special about it. So it's going to be 50 millimeters a second. Okay, and I don't have anything else special on it except for that ironing. So I'm going to get this to the printer. And we're going to print our two pieces. There is a very significant difference. You can see the pattern in this one, the crisscross pattern, but it is less apparent in this one. And this is the one that had the iron ironing function on. It is noticeably more smooth than this application here. Um, it doesn't work on the layers though. It only works on surfaces. So if you were like printing just an example of printing a syringe of sorts you couldn't get this finish on the inside of that cylinder because it's not a surface it's a layer even though these aren't bad really but you can see the ripple in it the uh, The, the, the well, what they call definition of of, uh, of smoothness is uh, ripples, right? Or um, har harmonics. But this is a printer. I don't know why it shows up almost like a harmonic. The same thing as you would by turning a piece, right? In conclusion. If you want a smooth finish, it's worth it to, to activate that button in Cura. It's called ironing.